Good evening. This is the uh, devotion for uh, Wednesday, uh, December the 2nd, our first uh, Wednesday evening uh, Advent uh, devotion. And it's uh, tied in with our Advent service this evening, which is based on the uh, notion of prepare ye, getting yourself ready for what is to come. This year uh, has been one where no one knows what's happening, so it's pretty hard to prepare. Um, we struggled here, for instance, as to how best to do uh, Christmas Eve services. And we've come up with a plan, such as it is, is to have two services, one at 5.30 and one at 7.30, both of which will be um, candlelit services. And uh, we can only have 70 people and so at each. And so we will have a um, first come, first served type uh, basis. Of course, we have service on Christmas Day as well, and that will also uh, take in 70 people at 10 a.m. on Christmas Day. Uh, the scripture is from Luke chapter 1. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, O favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying and tried to discern what kind of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom, there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, How will this be, since I am a virgin? And the angel answered her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, your relative Elizabeth in her old age has conceived a son, and this is the sixth month with her who is called barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Mary said, Behold, I am a servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. There's no way that Mary was prepared for that day. Young girl as she is, probably just learning the, the life chores that she would need to be uh, as wife of Joseph. She, no way she was preparing to be the mother of, of the Savior, or my, any kind of mother, for that matter, because as Luke points out in three different times, she's a virgin. She has no expectation that she's going to have a child. There's not even a possibility in her mind that she's going to have a child. So she says, you know, how can this be? But as the angel tells her, nothing is impossible with God. Nothing is impossible with God. And by God's grace, she was pregnant already by the power of the Most High, by the Holy Spirit himself. And the child was called holy. He is the Son of God. He is the one who sits on the throne of his father, David. He is the one who reigns over the house of Jacob forever. And of his king, there will, there will be no end. There was no way she could prepare for that. In a year in which we've had difficulty preparing, in which we trying to figure out even now what most families are going to be doing for uh, Christmas and Christmas Eve, etc., we got to know that nothing is impossible with God. That God will continue to come to his people and care for his people. He proved it over and over again in the scriptures. And here, this girl, and that's what she is, is a girl, is given a great, great, great promise. You will be the mother of the Most High. She is the favored one. She is the one that the Lord is with you. Well, the Lord is with you too. Not in the same way, but he's always with you. And in this day and age in which it's hard to prepare, 
we need to be thinking like Mary. For all Mary could be, could all Mary could say to all of this was, "Behold, I am the servant of the Lord; let it be to me according to your word." And so each day, let us say, "I am the servant of the Lord; let it be to me according to your word." Uh, the last few years, we've learned a hymn. It's from the Basque region in northern uh, Spain, and it, it speaks to this. The angel Gabriel from heaven came with wings as drifted snow, with eyes as flame. All hail to thee, O lowly maiden Mary, most highly favored lady, Gloria. For know a blessed mother thou shalt be. All generations laud and honor thee. Thy son shall be Emmanuel, my seers foretold, most highly favored lady, Gloria. Then gentle Mary meekly bowed her head. To me, to me be as it pleaseth God, she said. My soul shall laud and magnify God's holy name, most highly favored lady, Gloria. Let's pray. Gracious God, our Heavenly Father, we ask your blessing upon us in this season of preparation, but a season in which it's difficult to prepare because of things in the world around us. Help us to be ready and to know that you're, what you are sending into the world is your Son, as promised to Mary, and that nothing is impossible for you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <laughs>